Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, July 8th, 2019. Uh, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in fact in the description box below. Yes. Also keep in mind that this message is timeless. Yes, it is dated for Monday, July 8th. So it may resonate for you on that day, but it doesn't have to. Uh, at any moment when you are guided to watch this video on at any time other than Monday, July 8th. And if it resonates with you at that time, then that is the message for you in that moment. Yeah, excellent. So let's get into it, guys. Um, I hope you guys had a great July 4th weekend if you are here in the United States. Um, but it is now, unfortunately, the end of that four-day weekend, and we all got to get back to work. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. So let's get into what we're going to talk about today. I have the pre-shuffle here. And I do have to say, first of all, I have to say that I really do like doing this pre-shuffle thing. I started doing it, you know, with the monthly readings and it turned out really well. So I really like doing it. So I'm going to keep doing it this way. Okay. Anyway, that was just a little sidebar. Um, this is actually what's coming out right now or what has come out so far. We have the nine of wands in reverse with the four of swords upright. Yes. And then we have judgment in reverse. And on the other side of the deck here, we have the 10 of wands. Um, and I, I just want to say that this looks like it could be pretty bad, but it's not. It's actually much better. It is actually pretty good. Where you have been before this moment was pretty shitty. <laughs> and that's what this nine of swords is speaking about. It was emotionally and mentally shitty um, because it was just, you were just full of anxiety. Uh, I am using the vice versa deck here for this reading if you are interested, the vice versa. Yes? Okay. So um, there is, the, the message that I'm getting here from judgment in reverse is that deliverance is at hand. Um, deliverance is on the horizon. Um, and it's deliverance from all of this stuff, this Ten of Wands energy that you've, the burdens that you've been carrying. Um, that is the deliver, you will be the liberation from all of this, all of these burdens. Um, and it's interesting because when I looked underneath the deck to see what was on this side, um, and I saw this Ten of Wands, what I felt like was the energy or the, the circumstances or maybe even the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, whatever, the baggage that you're carrying that's represented by this Ten of Wands is deep or was deep underneath the surface. But the deliverance or the redemption or the um, liberation that you are achieving right now is from all of this stuff. It's uncovering all of this stuff so that you can finally be free of it, okay? That's what, that's why you have the Nine of Swords in reverse with the Four of Swords upright. And this is actually connecting to something that I, I really wanted to talk about today, or at least at some point during this week. Um, but I didn't, but I'm doing my best right now with, with these morning coffee readings to not intentionally drive them in any sort of way. I'm really very much placing my, consciously placing myself in a state of surrender in order for the best message to come out for the collective, yes? Whatever message that needs to come out. And um, it seems like, well, obviously, my intuition was in my, or my desire to talk about something that has been happening and it happened over last week um and it, it might have been separate to what we were talking about last week but um i'm finally at a place where i can i understand it better and so i can discuss it so i want to and and now it seems to be coming out here so i'm very i'm grateful for that so i had a little bit of a rough week last week um it, i mean it was a major transition i finished school last week um, and so my life was kind of like, and it was the 4th of July weekend. So like life was kind of all up in the air <laughs> last week, but 
um, the energies were super, super heavy. There was a lot of purging that was happening, a lot of clearing that was happening. And I, I can attest to this, all of the message that's coming out here. So I kind of feel like um, I went through it first or earlier and now it looks like some others of you either are going to be going through this or you guys you guys went through this as well and now you're you're ready you're at a point where you can talk about it or look at it from a different point of view which is crazy because that was the whole that was the whole point of the energy at least in my in my experience of that I experienced last week looking at something from a different point of view okay and that's often what the four of swords represents uh, the four of swords is an energy of a respite of a break of a truce of a timeout to go off to your corners lick your wounds i guess if you want to say it that way heal up a little bit and try to get a game plan together or um you know adjust your strategy the four of swords in my opinion is also a minor arcana version of the hanged man which is all about gaining a new perspective or changing your perspective yes so as you can see here what this represents to me with the nine of swords in reverse and the four of swords upright is putting the anxiety and the fear aside and really just settling down and saying okay instead of just pushing this away instead of just being afraid of this instead of just cringing and running away every time this comes up let's sit for a second rest into it, settle into it, and look at it from a different point of view. And that's exactly what I was going through last week. Um, and that's what this Ten of Wands is. This is a purge of deeper aspects, hidden aspects, things that were deep down in the darkest spart spots, in the crevices, just like crammed down there, hidden down there, um, now coming up to the surface. So for me, things were coming up that I had, and of course, I will say this, um, these are things that came up that were associated with my per my own personal twin flame journey. Um, I mean, there were memories coming up of when I had, like when I was like initially thrown in, <laughs> thrown into that whole twin flame situation um and i'm just using the term twin flame because that's how we understand it that's how we've come to understand it i mean i'm not going to get into my opinion of what the twin flame journey is um in this because it's just going to take too long but just know that i'm just using it because that's what we understand it as um, but there were memories coming up of like the very beginning of that journey or of that circumstance or situation where like I had compl I hadn't thought about those things, those elements, those things that happened, whatnot. I hadn't really thought about those things in the longest time, and they were coming up now. It's like they were being, they were literally. It's like I had a dog, and the dog went out in the backyard and just started digging shit up that I forgot I had buried, <laughs> you know, and all of it. I found was forcing, was really was forcing me to look at the situation from a different perspective, to look at the situation from a different point of view, to feel the feelings that were associated with those memories. And instead of cringing, instead of pushing them away, instead of doubling down on myself and, and saying how crazy and stupid and idiotic and, 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 and just nuts I am, instead of feeling worse about myself instead I had to stop and say okay let's put the fear aside let's put the anxiety aside let's put the shame aside and let's look at this from a different point of view let's experience this feel whatever feelings come up from it and then release it thus releasing the burdens because that doesn't mean the memories are gone, okay? But what it does mean is that the baggage associated with those memories is being cleared away. And that's what needs to be cleared away in order to make space for whatever it is you're truly desiring out of life. Thus, releasing the Ten of Wands. Now, I really do like the way this is depicted because I'm looking at this and when you see how his wands are neatly bundled like that? In other depictions, let me see if I can find it here. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look in the Golden Universal Tarot because that's what the uh, that's the image I'm seeing in my head. But in other depictions, the the ten wands that this guy is carrying 
are just like a big old mess and it looks like he's just gonna drop them at any moment like he's he's precariously carrying all of these wands. Watch, it's gonna be like the very, nope, there it is. I was gonna say, it's gonna be like the very last card. But you see how he's carrying all of these wands like that? It looks like those all are gonna just fall out of his, like he won't be able to control it. They're just gonna fall out of his hands at any moment. But here, in this depiction, the, the wands <clears throat> are neatly bundled, okay? So to me, that's saying getting all of this in order getting it all in order, and then he's walking back home to just put it away. So it's not like you're ever really going to forget any, all of what it is you're going through. It's not like even you were, you're meant to forget it, but what you need to do is just neatly bundle everything up, see it for what it is, recognize it, handle it, experience it, and then just put it away. Literally, that, is the redemption, the um, deliverance that is on the horizon with judgment. This is the judgment card, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if I actually said that, but yeah, this is the judgment card in the Major Arcana, okay? <sighs> wow. So I mean like, and this is kind of what I wanted to talk about, about this situation. I mean, last week, uh, the, the synchronicities last week were off the hook. Like, for me personally, I don't know about you guys. And maybe, uh, yes, I'm feeling like a lot of you are actually going to be going through this moving forward. Um, but, the, I mean, like, and I see synchronicities in mostly in the form of numbers. I live in New York City, so there are a lot of cabs. There are a lot of license plates. There are a lot of buses that have numbers. There are numbers everywhere. Um, and I often see numbers, synchronicities in license plates. And the, the, the strongest one were like sequential numbers, like four, five, six, one, two, three. I was seeing one, two, three consistently over last week. That was the mo that was one the one that was coming out the most. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, nine, eight, seven, seven, eight, nine. Like all that. And there are some times where I would see like this is just an example. This one didn't act actually happen specifically, but this is like this is kind of what what did happen. At one point I would see something like uh, one, two, three, and then turn around and like not five minutes later see four, five, six, or three, two, one, or, um, you know, something like that. Like I just, I was just not even paying attention. I just opened my eyes and I looked at the clock and it was at one, two, three, <laughs> the, the, not the clock, the, the counter, um, the time counter. So, so, okay. Okay. The, um, the emperor just came out, just popped out. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look, the emperor just popped out. It is his back, but to me, this is saying that he's looking off into the horizon. He's, he's looking out into um, his, his domain. And then you have the world here. So this is, in, an, in essence, taking your power back or taking control, looking off onto your domain and saying, okay, Let's move forward. We've got things to do, says the emperor. We've got an empire to build. We've got an empire, empire to rule. We've got, you know, we've got, we've got subjects to take care of, to care for. Let's make this happen. Looking off, in, especially with the world here, as, and with this side of the world, because this side of the world, opposed as opposed to this side, and this is the nine of cups here, but. Um, opposed to this side. This side can mean that you're just trying to get through it without really closing out the cycle. But here, this is more, this side is more of just like going with the flow, accepting what it is and moving forward, okay? Allowing the cycle to just close out. I am picking up an energy here with this, the emperor in the way he's positioned in this way, in this moment at least, um, sitting on his throne, looking off into his, his empire and allowing things to just settle, allowing the cycle to close out and then just taking action when the time is right, okay? Wow. That's pretty beautiful, guys. It really is quite beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna get into the rest of the reading here. Alrighty, kids, here we go.
Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Monday, July 8th, 2017. 2017? What? 2019. Good golly, Eric. That was two years ago. Wow. That makes a lot. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm really freaking out. I'll explain in a second, but okay. Monday, July 8th, 2019. Lots of purple. I'm seeing lots of purple. Um, 2017, you guys, is the year that all of this shit kicked off. It was June of 2017 when I finally made the final decision to move on from my marriage. It was August of 2017 when I moved into the apartment that I live in now. And it was January of 2018 when I started my channel. And it was... They're saying five shuffles. Okay, five shuffles, guys. Um, 2017 was the year that all this kicked off and I am in a moment right now where uh, all of that is really coming to a close, especially now that I finished school, which was a major, major part of that transition. So I say all of this to say, that was number two, um, this really is the cycle that we, I'm going to say we, because that we are in, because um, I've been channeling for this collective and we've been all going through some very similar situations. So if you're resonating with me, this is probably where you are right now, <laughs> which is, ooh, which is really a good thing. Okay. I'm, Spirit's telling me to stop talking and just focus on shuffling. All right. Two more shuffles. <laughs> One. Alrighty, guys. And last shuffle. Flip this. Okay. All right, kids. Let's see what we've got. Wow. Oh my God, you guys. I think I'm going to stop. Nope, last one. Oh! <gasps> Holy shit. Oh my God. Okay, we have the Three of Cups. And, and the Emperor. Again, same side, still upright. Holy shit, you guys. <laughs> All right, so this Three of Cups energy here is a good thing. And, wow. Wow. This is amazing. This really is amazing. Okay. Um, I just want to say, I'm just going to say it. Look, King and the Queen of Pentacles now. And the King of Pentacles was coming out all last week. All of last week. And now it's coming out with the Queen, the counterpart. <clears throat> Especially coupled with the Three of Cups here, which is a celebration. Um, I'm hearing self-mastery and I'm definitely feeling this Three of Cups energy is a feeling of rejoice, celebration, like the whole universe is cheering for you right now because of the balance of body, mind, and spirit that you have come into. The Three of Cups is a union card where it is, while it is also a celebration card, um, it also can... Yes, it can have a negative side in, in, or a darker side in talking about, um, you know, third party situations and blah, 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 blah. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about a celebration. We're talking about a union. And this isn't necessarily a union with somebody else. This is a union within yourself. This is the union of the masculine and the feminine energies coming together within you and solidifying you. This is you being very, very, very well manifested king of cups i'm sorry Ooh, king of cups huh no king of pentacles queen of pentacles nine of pentacles i mean you cannot get an individual that is more more balanced more grounded 
more secure, more well-rounded, well-manifested than an individual that is representing all of this energy right here. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. This is, in my opinion, at least as to how this feels right now, this is a masterful embodiment of independence and autonomy. This is fantastic, you guys. Okay, this is the energy that you're in or this is the energy that you are moving towards, especially with what we were talking about last week in all of, yes, most of it was, um, there was a lot of family stuff that was coming through last week. And that didn't necessarily have to resonate with you. If it, it and and if you're not familiar, if you didn't see last week's series, I would. It's it's um, it starts with Monday, July first. Um, and all of the and I, I was actually throughout the week I was kind of floored at how consistently um, those messages were running together. Like the King of Pentacles, I think came out almost every day, which is weird. <laughs> but now he's come out again with the Queen of Pentacles. But the, the core message of what was going on last week was talking about striking out on your own, basically, asserting your own independence. And so now it's, it, and you had to take action here. It's as if you took action, you did what you needed to do, and now the queen is sitting here next to you saying, good on you, good job, let's take this one step further, let's go on, move on with our lives, and let's be the badass individuals that we are. Okay, so then here you are, seven of pentacles with the, I mean, all of these, all, look at all of these pentacles here, guys, seven of pentacles with the page of pentacles, okay? The page of pentacles to me is like a level up, okay? It represents, in my opinion, it represents coming to a new, or at least it has been representing, in, for me, for the readings for a long time now, um, it's been representing coming to a new phase in life, stepping up, starting a new level, starting a new chapter, and kind of trying to find your footing. Here, what this, what I feel like the Page of Pentacles, especially the way this looks, the way this is depicted with the Seven of Pentacles here, even though the Seven of Pentacles does look kind of dark and abysmal, don't let that fool you. Don't let that get you down. Um, I feel like right now you're in an energy of planning for your future. You recognize fully that you are in this brand new state and you have your whole life ahead of you. And so now you're like, okay, where have I been? Seven of Pentacles, where have I been? Where has that led me? Where am I trying to go? How do I get there? Page of Pentacles is the energy of the fresh new start, the um, the open mind, the almost childlike innocence, childlike nature that's ready and excited to get this ball rolling. That's beautiful, guys. It's really, really beautiful. Wow. Congratulations. Okay, all right, so now let's get the closing message from the Tarot and then we're gonna get the Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. So I'm gonna pull out my Crystal Visions deck here. I'm gonna give this three shuffles. Closing message from the Tarot, please, Spirit. In terms of this reading here, Last shuffle. Oops. Alrighty. Closing message, please, Spirit. Closing guidance. <laughs> the first card to pop out is the tower in reverse. I mean, and that's it. Underneath the deck, we, damn. Underneath the deck, we have the King of Swords. <laughs> and the, the closing message here is the tower in reverse. Now, it being reversed can mean a blockage. It could potentially mean that you're currently going through a tower moment. It could also mean that you are resisting a tower moment. 
None of that is what I feel here. This feels like you have overcome. You have successfully surmounted the tower moment, especially, especially with this King of Swords energy here. The King of Swords is the diplomat. The King of Swords is the judge, is the individual that will look at all sides of the equation before he makes his final decision. Even if he's already he already has a good idea of where he wants to go with it or what he's going to decide, he's still gonna take the time to look at all ends of all sides of the situation. Diplomacy. You've come to a clear understanding of what this journey means, what your journey means, or you are on your way towards this clear understanding. And I'm hearing now is your time to shine because you have successfully brought down that tower, whatever that represents for you. And I just saw 555 five, five on the counter here. <laughs> you have successfully brought down the tower and you have re-manifested yourself into something badass, bold, and beautiful. And that's awesome. That is really quite awesome. Congratulations are definitely in order. <laughs> All right, so now let's, let's get your Oracle guidance here. For Monday, July 8th, 2018, best message to close out this reading, please, Spirit. Some Oracle guidance for the reading today. Monday, July 8th, 2019. And if you're wondering, I'm just gonna throw it out there. If you're wondering, yes, I am reading my own life right now. <laughs> Monday, July, take this one. No, you know what? I'm just gonna let it fall out. Monday, July. Okay. Here we go. Card number 36, Ascended Master Mataji and Crimson Cuprite, Relief and Repair. Book. Who remembers that? Brownie points to whoever knows what that last line just came from. <laughs> I'm sure many of you are going to know it. Anyway, I don't even you think you heard it. If you want to rehear it, just go back a little bit. You'll hear it. Here we go. Relief and repair. We bring you the blessing of relief and repair. Our warmth and nurturing will restore and rebalance your body, mind, and soul when the light of spirit burns too brightly. Spiritual light is like the light of the sun. It brings life and joy, but too much can burn. If that happens to you, you will feel overwhelmed, overheated, overexcited, and overstretched mentally, physically, or, or emotionally. We will help you recover and increase your ability to be exposed to spiritual light again in future without becoming overloaded or burnt out. We ask you to soften and relax into our rich red energy now, which nurtures you with the cooling, restorative life force of the Earth Mother. We shall help you naturally discharge excess energy whilst we revive, strengthen, and fortify you with our nourishing grace. Well, that's quite beautiful. Let's see what else is there. Okay, yeah, let's read this one. The Oracle of Relief and Repair comes with a message about your spiritual growth. You may or may not be aware of it, but you are learning to call more spiritual light into your body, your mind, and your life. Perhaps you have been praying to the universe more, asking for help. Perhaps you have been meditating more often or reading spiritual books and opening your mind to new levels of consciousness. Or perhaps your soul has just been growing, even if you don't quite know why it is happening or recognize it consciously. That is all good. However, your body needs time to adjust to the increase in light. 
If you just keep going without taking a short break, it would be like continuing to eat and eat and eat without taking time to digest and eliminate in between meals. Although you may be eating very good quality meals, in time, it won't matter. It'll just become too much. So this oracle will help you. Take a short rest and repair now so you don't become unwell or overloaded and need to take a much longer break later on. That is what the Four of Swords is talking about in the pre-shuffle, yes? You are being given healing and you need it. When you have a strong spirit that it has conditioned your body and mind to simply keep up, it can be easy to forget that although your spirit is an unlimited being, your body and mind exist within a reality held together with the parameters of time and space. This means that although your spirit doesn't need to stop and or re, doesn't need sleep or recovery time, your body and mind certainly do. I also want to read this. This also uh, this this oracle also indicates that any situation that may appear to be never ending is not so, and any brokenness of heart or will, defeat or apparent failure can and will be resolved and restored through the hand of her radiant grace. She will bestow her blessing of relief and repair upon you and your life situation. Allow her grace to resolve your life circumstances as she sees fit so you can be revived by her rich, warm life force. When the Divine Mother turns her attention to a matter, there is no such thing as a lost cause or inevitable defeat. Her ways are many and her resources are great. When she decides to animate something that may have otherwise seemed devoid of life, her power is that of the phoenix, rising again after all has seemed lost. Allow her to serve your body, mind, and spirit in the way that best serves you now. Surrender into her tender, loving care. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. But with that, I hope you guys have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.